Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising. Uh, monthly tarot reading, August 2019, and bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump straight away uh, into the reading itself. All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Pisces month is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the peripheral activities that you can go for here. This is going to be the Ten of Cups. Afterwards, it is the challenges that you need to overcome. That is going to be the Temperance card, followed by the fourth one which represents the positive aspect of the month here. This is to be the uh, King of Pentacles. And the last card that stands for the guidance the tarot is offering to you, Pisces, this is to be the Two of Swords. Wow, quite of a peaceful month. Um, up until this point, for the rest of the 11, it were, they were quite intense months, you know, not necessarily in a bad way, but very dynamic months. <clears throat> for you, for a change here in these readings, it does look like that the month is going to be rather quite peaceful, very... Um, a, a month of indulgence as well, all right, and generally a, a month where you are to realize your blessings, all right, you are to become or uh, kind of like, um, <laughs> I, I don't have the words even to explain it, it's like a, a month where nothing bad happens, really, it's just, there is no shenanigans nor problems whatsoever. That is what this this uh, displayed here with the Ten of Pentacles first card, which uh, represents uh, simply how cozy you're gonna feel, surrounded by love, by warmth, and uh, by blessings as well, and or in generally by comfortability so much that uh, you are to feel extremely independence from the outside, from the problems of the outside world. What I mean is that your company is going down the sink, well, big deal, you know, you're gonna find another job. Your relationship isn't working out, well, this isn't the end of the, the world, you know, and this isn't definitely not the only person in the world, okay? <clears throat> or uh, any kind of different um, exterior problems that may bother everybody else around, they aren't gonna bother you because you are gonna have that very amplified um, confidence, you know, that you can deal with whatever comes in your way. And it is how it's gonna happen. But here with the 10 of uh, Pentacles, the best thing throughout this month is that you're gonna go out of dependency, meaning successful return of a loan, all right? Or any kind of a deal which is granting you that, uh, reaching a, a balanced state into one relationship, for example, and all kinds of endeavors which are going to guarantee you your uh, domain or rather like your comfort zone, your, your independence to the situation itself. And the Ten of Pentacles also could point that um, 
someone is going to apologize. Simply as that, right? Someone will realize how much they, they did you wrong and they will try to fix it. Should you decide to give them a chance or not? Well, that depends entirely up to you. The accompanied card is going to be 10 of ones, uh, the formation. It is a uh, passive neutrals. So with that, you do have a decision here to make in, uh, in my eyes with the 10 of ones. I, the, the month will have its, uh, its obligatories and the month will have its responsibilities as well, which does not demand straight away a tendency. What I mean is that you can decide, well, you know, fuck it. I don't have the mood to deal with these things right now. So I'm going to deal with these things right now, right? I'm just going to enjoy myself on a holiday or with friends or with family and etc etc i don't know if you realize here pisces but you get to spend them on the way you like okay at least according to these cards not just only according to these cards guys but as well according to the next one which is the peripheral activities and that is going to be the ten of cups which speaks for a indulgement of hobbies indulgement with all kind of pleasant enterprises which are making you simply feel good you know having spending the night with friends watching your favorite show uh going into a cinema driving aimlessly if that is something that makes you feel happy and etc etc so it's this is what the ten of cups here represents you know taking advantage of all minor blessings which are making your life easier and more bearable as well in the month of august you're gonna have time for every single one of them the accompanied card here is going to be the sun card formation it is a passive enemies that we do have now unfortunately they will have no uh option to grow all right they will have no unfoldment further than that so uh, that being said, um, how do I describe it? So let's say we are following the example here where you enjoy your uh, yourself with the company of friends. Well, it's just is going to stay that way, all right? A company of a friend or of a friend. So you shouldn't have these kind of like secretive um, intentions that maybe you can end up in a relationship because with the sun card here as a um, passive uh, enemy to the Ten of Cups, that ain't going to be the case. So the point is, enjoy what you have right now throughout the month of August and do not try to force it. Do not push it, like the American says, all right? Do not push your luck. But uh, the next card, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome, this is going to be uh, the, um, the temperance card. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw the temperance card into this position was um, more like a laziness, all right, or unwillingness to um, to do what it takes, uh, shortly said. But right now, what I uh, what came to my mind by looking at all these cards is that um, the challenge here. Uh, how do I describe it? Uh, the challenge here is going to be that you need to be uh, uh, roughly set on your guard, right? It's because not always is going to be as peaceful as it is right now. It's just how life works, okay? So you should not assume that all of your problems are gone, okay? They may revive in the month of September, you know, or in the month of October, or two years from now. So that being said, if you can do something, you know, to secure and stabilize on your position, this is what you need to do. And as a challenge, you need to recognize that there is still more what you can do in order to improve your circumstances, all right? You can be even uh, in a more beneficial position throughout the month of August. Additionally to that, it's gonna be very challenging to accept advice and to accept, um, or to honor a, a certain opinion here, it is because what the people know, you know, or, or at least this is going to be your standpoint. I mean, what do you know? I mean, I'm in such a, a good position right now. So who are you to tell me what should I do since you're, you seem that you have lost it right now? And it's kind of like a, a point of ignorance. So do not allow yourself to become ignorant to the warnings that the life or other people could present to you. The accompanied card here is going to be the seven of uh, swords, 
information. It is a active friends. Definitely, we're talking about ignorance here, uh, and it's kind of like you you think that you know it all and that you are kind of like took any kind of precautionary measures to counteract a certain deterioration that may happen further down the road in regards to your career or in regards to your marriage or in regards to your relationships and you name it but you can't be just so careful right and there is always some something that can catch you off guard and for that reason you should maintain your vigilance that there is always something that can go wrong i'm not saying that it will but it could be right it could go wrong in two months from now <clears throat> so do not be cocky it's my uh it's my point of the month uh the next card stands for the positive aspect <clears throat> and we have the knight of uh the, the king of pentacles excuse me so that is going to be a person which uh, you have a chance to cooperate with the king of pentacles it's a very sedated and uh, self-absorbing person <clears throat> who is very generous but not uh, but it is not a person of charity meaning that he is willing to give only if you give as well so it's like a game of giving and taking the thing is that as it falls into a, a positive position it definitely worth giving because this time around it seems that what they want from you it is far abated than what you want from them or what you can take of them as an advantage take it as this this is a, a very uh, influential person who needs a favor of you and as soon as you make the favor well they are gonna owe you one and next time you get to ask for much larger favor than you have gave them right now and they will be unable to accept to to decline excuse me because this is a, a man of honor they always pay their debts and uh, additionally to that uh, it seems that should you need help throughout the month all right uh, your friends are going to be more than uh, more than happy to offer you that help as well the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, ace of pentacles so with the cooperation of this man or exchange of a uh, favors of this man you of this man here or a person should i say you will have the necessary means and and circumstances as well to force a rare opportunity to further your goal to to achieve a success excuse me into your business harmonious flow into your relationship it does look like that with the cooperation of this man you are to reach a lot of success and as well a lot of content either in regards to your personal endeavors so it's like exchanging of favors the way i see it which are gonna go for a long run for uh, for both sides of the spectrum and the final card that we do have regards to the guidance here pisces and this is going to be the two of swords so this uh this card urges you to be um calculative all right and to be very careful whenever you are to make a decisive move moving on forward because the two of swords in the grand scheme of things is a general card it does point that before you decide what to do you have to consider all points of view so throughout the month it is not unlikely that you may face dilemmas all right and that you may face a hesitation to make any move and that is quite all right because the if you do so i mean if you are unable to decide that will mean as this card is on a uh, um, guidance position it means that you are missing a, a vital key of an information or a a very important um event is about to happen so that's why you need to wait patiently until the scales tip in favor of one of your decisions so whatever it takes you need to keep yourself in the equilibrium until the equilibrium is get disturbed the uh, accompanied card here is going to be the queen of swords so uh <clears throat> You need to be in tune with time. What I mean is that you need to be uh, emancipating throughout uh, throughout the month in itself, being two steps ahead of everybody, how being forewarned, therefore being forearmed. And uh, also these couple of cards are urging you not to be irrational because 
um, it does look like that you do have what it takes at the end uh, at the end of the day to push your things through and it will be a shame if you waste it with some premature actions and decisions so that being said, Pisces, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.